live. <laughs> And his name is a Blaster. That's what it's titled about you, right on Sonia FM. Uh, and of course, uh, it is uh, exactly 23 minutes after top of the hour, 1 o'clock. Uh, we are still in the uh, second hour of the show. And of course, I remember before, some while ago, we did uh, promise you that we're going to be having such a lovely conversation. My guest is joining us in the studio. I've been waiting for this conversation for the longest time. Welcome, girl. Her name is a Terry Treasure. Hi! I'm so excited to be here. Oh my goodness. Good to see you. How are you? Awesome stuff, man. I mean, you're looking lovely. Thanks. And, you know, compared to like when you are, you're inside the house, I you're love like glowing more than that. Because mm -hmm. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about your stay in the house. How would you describe your situation? Like when Hello, guys. You're welcome. Yes, no much talk on this one. I'll just show you guys the videos of. If you're new, kindly hit the red subscribe button on the notification bell, comment your opinions below so you don't miss out on any of this interesting content, these videos, everything happening around you and beyond. Because, yes, I'll be giving you guys much more interesting updates. Let's check out the main part of the videos. You are staying in the house. Being in the house is actually a different experience because it's such a nice social experiment. Yeah. You, you get to test your personality and your mindset as well. Mm -hmm. You test your perspective on, okay, how do you see things in life? Yeah. And then you see how other people see things. And you actually get to like broaden your mindset. So I think my stay in the house actually ha helped me open my mind yeah. to a lot more things and not just perspective, also just like work wise, yeah. career wise, like mm. I'm back in the game. <laughs> you also <laughs> described. Uh, your stay as a psychological warfare. Yes. Why is that? I think it's psychological warfare because it's not even about physical strength or anything. Mm -hmm. It's about mental strength. If you feel like you can't compete with other personalities that are just as big, if not bigger than yours, then you're not going to be able to last long in the house. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's mental battle True. more than anything it's not it's got nothing to do with your physical stature yeah. it's all about the mind and if when <laughs> your mind is not strong enough to handle it yeah. you're not gonna make it and i mean like right now you're outside the house mm. how's the feeling being outside is so nice <laughs> like <laughs> it, it even feels like the air is different wow. i was even saying to my friend just this morning like i feel like when i came out the house everyone is now in a relationship wow. i feel like someone caught like <laughs> the love flu you and like <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, so it, it feels good to be outside and experience actually my friends. People are doing a lot of stuff, and I'm very proud of them. Wow, yeah, lovely stuff. Uh, you know, uh, talking about being in the house, I know it sounds a bit controversial, but I wanted to find out who was your least favorite. I don't have a least favorite. Oh, you like everyone in the house? I was wow. cool. No, I was cool with everyone in the house. Oh. Yeah, I was cool with everyone in the house. I don't have any qualms with anybody. Like, we're cool. Yeah, yeah I'm cool. Mm -hmm. I'm cool. And, and tell us about, you know, um, the friendship or maybe how you guys engage since you left the house. Uh, since we left the house, obviously, like, I think some people are still, mentally, they're still in the house. Mm -hmm. So they're holding on to whatever it is that they're holding on to. Mm -hmm. But I've already moved on from that. Like, work doesn't stop for anybody yeah. and you can't be caught up in stuff that happened like it's almost a month now yeah. or maybe like say three weeks uh -huh. so i think also my friendships like with sister mara and oh. Poba Dimu, wow. like we've been like clicking a lot and also i've been making a lot of connections with their teams as well so it, it's good to keep the friendship going and also knowing that it won't just extend into like just a generic friendship mm -hmm. but also we could be going into potential work together so there's also a bag on the line like we're also trying to make that two million you know <laughs> i represent you know we're gonna get to that two million part but yeah. right now i just wanted to find out what is the one thing you'd say like you know you've learned since being in the house one thing I've don't limit myself. Yeah. Never to limit myself because it all it also goes back to the thing of like presenting. Mm. When I went into the house, I never, never had the thought of like I'm gonna be a presenter. Mm. I, I, it was never in my mind. Like mm. even after the interviews, they were just like, "Yo, are you ever gonna go into media?" I was like, "No, no, wow. no, I'm cool." I mean, all of a sudden, doof. we need you, man. Why not? Come join us. Not bad. <laughs> I could be your co-host. Who yeah. knows? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're hanging out here with Terry Treasure and we're going to be keep, uh, taking a quick of a break when we are coming back. The conversation is going to be continuing with the Terry Treasure from uh, the Big Brother in Zanzi. Oh, that was nice. It was nice. That was nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, we're going to be going into the news in a very short space of time. Eh? Okay. Why are they quiet, don't you? Yeah, so that's like, yeah, so far so good. I'm enjoying. I like uh, this. It's very nice. Yeah, it's chill. And no download links will be accepted.
Okay, we're gonna play. Three minutes. Ah, let me just take it straight to the music. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The house. Uh, you know, like I was only following my like, big brother. The, the recent one. I didn't know what, what was happening. I just know that there are people in the house. Okay. I didn't... Like, you didn't, yeah, you didn't know what yeah, actually goes like, on. You know, like, again, it was trending a lot. Yeah. So I had to go check out like, what's, the thing? Oh, what's going on. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, it's very nice. It's very nice. A lot of people get obsessed with the show. Like, they invest it. Uh-huh. They're very much invested in the show, like, okay. yeah. yeah. And it's got like some followership, ne? some serious ones. Ne? Hectic. <laughs> yeah, Hectic. 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 Everybody has their own fan base. Yeah, it's insane. It's insane. Yeah. Nice. Because like, yeah. the guy was telling me, oh, you might be here now. I'm like, shit, she's going to be upset at me. Imagine I'm from here, yeah. you're protecting me. Yeah. yeah. No, it's cool, it's cool. Yeah. Even here is just so friendly. It's nice. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Everyone has stopped and asked, like, yeah. oh, they were just like, oh, oh yeah. turn it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
Minister the Capsule is number one. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Thank you so much for making sure that we are remaining top of your radio station. Number one, Kopitori Masanyeng. And don't forget to use our social media platforms. We are on Facebook. It is at Swanya Space FM Space 936. In case you'd like to use Twitter at Swanya FM 936. And we did mention that we are also found on Instagram. Just simply type at Swanya FM underscore official. And you can get to see some of your favorite presenters. Please make sure that you like as many pictures as you can. And of course, I'm looking at the time right now. It is at 13.33, meaning we are only 27 minutes before we hit the top of the hour. It's going to be 2 p.m. And we're going to be saying goodbye to you. But before we say goodbye, we are still having a lovely conversation from a big brother, Mzanzi. Her name is uh, Teria Treasure. Hi! <laughs> hey, you know, like, uh, people have been sending through the messages. I'm gonna, I promise I'm going to be reading just a few of them before I let to go but i wanted to find out man yeah in terms of uh the house uh, mm. everything was fun i was watching and i saw everyone yourself included yeah seemed to be having so much fun i mm. wanted to find out let's say it happens like you go back again do you i'm definitely going back mm. like you know once the auditions open for um big brother africa I'm oh. definitely entering. Oh, wow. I feel like the dynamics are going to be very different with Big Brother Africa because yeah, it's a yeah. culture shock more than a personality shock. Wow. Because you learn, like I know Nigerians are very conservative. So you get to learn, okay, how do I mix my very loud personality and yeah. also just like openness and sexual liberation yeah. with a country, with a, a fellow uh, like continent mate that is like very closed mm -hmm. off into themselves. How are we going to live together in one space? So I think that would be... Like, very interesting to watch as well. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. And, like, would you say, like, we are physically, emotionally, and psychologically ready for that stage? As a country? I mean, like, you going into the continental stage. Definitely. Mm. I think I'm definitely ready. Wow. Like, I'm back in the gym. My routine is coming back. Wow. Like, get ready. Like, whatever happens, <laughs> like, if they say, come now. Yeah, ready, come. <laughs> 100%. Uh, Terry, uh, let's switch things uh, just a little bit yeah. and talk about you being in the only fans you know I've been waiting yes 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 till deciding that you know what i'm gonna be entering the only fans this is gonna be my thing now mm. what brought you up to that conclusion so going into only fans it was 2020 covid mm. so you know things are slow yeah. work is not coming in as much yeah. so i was like okay you know what let me just try it i was already thirst trapping so i was like i'm not gonna thirst trap for free mm. might as well just get paid <laughs> <for you. laughs> so when i joined only fans i actually didn't know what to expect and I didn't know the format or anything So I just walked in like blindly wow. And then like in the first two weeks when I made money I was like oh snap oh, wow. This can be something <laughs> lucrative So I just like continued with it And you know uh, you are very open about it Yes You know you're not shy that you are part of this industry I believe maybe at some point there are some critics That you come along mm -hmm. uh, if Yes how are you handling that um, I think when it comes to haters, mm. they don't say it to me directly. Oh. Like, my Instagram is nothing but positivity. Like, it's, it's been crazy. Like, if I get a negative comment, it's like one out of a hundred. Wow. And I just block them very quickly because I don't let that get to me. Like, okay, if, you're, yes. yeah, if you're one out of a hundred, <laughs> 99 are saying, yeah. go girl. The rest, mm. you're the only one saying, uh-uh, uh. you need to go. Mm. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> 100%. And uh, I also wanted to find out is it something that you are looking to be continuing with uh, in future or is it something short term? What's happening? Oh, no, no, no. I haven't stopped. Oh, I've been nice. continuing. Yes. Yeah. So obviously, we'll see as time goes how far I can take it. Yeah. But I'm not going to limit myself and be like, ah, just because now I'm like, I'm about to hit 30, I'm going to stop. <laughs> nah. Yeah. I'm going to continue. Mm, I like that. I like that. And also share with us about your musical journey. I'm aware that you have been in the musical industry. Mm. How did it start and how is it going so far? Is it on pause? Is it, is it continuing? Uh, so my music journey started when I was 19. I started nice. pretty late compared to like where most rappers start off. Wow. I was pretty late. But it started when I was 19. By the time I turned 20, I was already in Hype Magazine twice. What? Like, yeah, for producing my own songs after going to like uh, music school. Yeah. So I was just like you know what i was pushing for a while and then obviously like it gets expensive mm. you know you have to buy studio equipment you have to record yourself mix right. and master music videos and publishing contracts and 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 yeah. and, and so uh, are you saying uh, right now that is it something that you went to school uh, study or is it uh, self-taught um i went to school first oh, nice. i went to school so i started the journey first and mm -hmm. then i went to school like i dropped out in 2014 mm. and i was like okay i want to do music and then the following year i studied at soul candy graduated top of my class yeah. and then i was like inside like there was no turning back i was <laughs> inside and mm. but then it's it's costly yeah. a lot of people don't understand it's costly wow. to do music you know you only get paid from 
gigs and brand deals and everything. So you use your music as like a ad. Wow. Yeah. And uh, I've noticed that maybe you are in uh, the hip hop, if I'm not mistaken. I love hip hop. Yes, <laughs> it's my thing. Yeah. Is it something that uh, you are looking at right now, or are you looking to expand at some stage and focus on other genres? I mean, I've done a piano song with D Mogul. Yeah, we've had like I, yeah, I've done a piano song. <laughs> yeah. But even with that, it's like the passion can only take you so far. Wow. Yeah, you can't finance yourself on passion. Yeah. You actually need money. Yeah. So, like, I chose money, guys. <laughs> Chose money. <laughs> I chose money. I chose money. Well, Terry, I'm receiving some of the messages. I'm going to be reading uh, some of uh, them. But uh, right now, let's just uh, ease things down with uh, some bit of uh, music. And we are still hanging out uh, with uh, Terry Treasure from Big Brother Mzanzi. Joining us right here on Sanya Family as the Cap Series number one. And going back to the music, uh, how about we go to Whiskey Khalifa? And of course, this one is titled Young, Wild, and Free. Hey, <laughs> vibes, 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 vibes. <laughs> you want to play my song? Yeah, Which one are you going to play? Play Silent Grind. Ish, all of them have. <laughs> you don't have a team legend. No. Ish. You can play Ayazi, it's fine. Ayazi is clean, I don't swear in the yeah. Because it's the oldest. Yeah, but it's fine. Yeah, let's play Ayazi. <laughs> Look, everyone's like, please tell him to play your music. Yeah, <laughs> Ayazi, E H, yeah, Y A Z I. E what? E H Y A, yeah, E H Y A Z I. Yeah, Ayazi. Just to be safe. That's yeah, no, that one is no, that one I don't say. Like, uh, if I do, maybe there's like one. Yeah. I literally like tell everyone they should enter. Yeah. Big Brother is a moment. Yeah. It's a moment in time. It's it's worth the three months of pausing. <laughs> it's three months. It's <laughs> one. No, it's three months. Like I, I left January eighth for quarantine two weeks. Then we went in on the twenty third. I only came out nine weeks later. What? It's worth it. It's worth it. Everything, everything has changed. Everything has changed. Looking at right now, it is from Big Brother Zanzi Daily Treasure joining us right here on Sony FM. Listen, man. I mean, our social media is getting crazy. Oh my People goodness! People love you so much. I'm having a message there from Sifiki Lepsito to saying. We love you, Terry, and we support your hustle. All the best in whatever you put your mind to, and may everything you pray for come to reality. It's a beautiful. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank, you thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's quickly check if it's uh, possible to take uh, at least a two or three. Yana. We are behind you 101%. Yes. Keep on shining and make us proud. I know uh, that's right. Let's see another one here from Subongi Lechidwane saying, King Terry Treasure, you are loved. Oh wow, and thank you, boo. It seems like it's love in the air, people love you so much. I mean, tell us about when you're outside, how is it like when people are saying this kind of thing? It's actually very chilled. Like, yeah. a lot of people would assume oh, it's like an AKA Casper movie. <laughs> it's really not. It's yeah. so chill. People are very calm mm. and they understand, well, okay, you're human at the end of the day. Can yeah. they approach you? No, they're very gentle. So, yeah. none of them are overpowering. Like, it's it's nice, it's vibes, it's chilled out here. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's see if we can take it two more. Uh, Toby Lettenfeger saying, Nterere. <laughs> I love the real Terry with all my heart. Wish her all the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's see if you can take uh, one from us. Paul Ungonyama saying, Congratulations, Terry, on your skincare range. Yes. I know for sure it will sell like hotcakes. I know you will do great. You have already cemented yourself in the industry and already doing boss moves. You are very influential and just know that we are rooting for you. Here's to more success, uh, success rather. And all the things great, stay focused. Focus hey, Baba, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, people really love you out there. And 
Just coming back to the conversation that we had before we, uh, we took a break, uh, you were telling us about your musical journey and we're going to be playing some of uh, your song before we say goodbye to our listeners uh, for today. But let's talk about what you have been busy with. Because I hear someone talking about the skincare. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, tell us about like, <laughs> some of the opportunities that have you know, uh, mushroomed since you were, went out of the house. So as soon as I came out of the house, um, a few weeks later, two weeks later, my friend uh, DJ Milkshake hit me up oh, and nice. I got my first gig to actually go, my first hosting gig, yeah. international gig in Botswana. What? So we drove out immediately, but then God showed off again. And on the same day when we were coming back from Botswana, yeah. I got called in by Vertex uh, Entertainment, which was hosting Celeb City, the boxing match between Casper. And they got me in as a correspondent for Channel O to like do the red carpet yeah. for them. Like, God was showing off that entire weekend. Wow. I then flew to Cape Town <laughs> to see my best friend. I had an interview with African Insider. And then African Insider had then, basically, we had a meeting and they were trying to offer me a job to host out as a correspondent in Cape Town as well for a lifestyle show. So a whole lot of stuff is happening. Yeah. And then I got the opportunity to come up with my own skincare range because in the house, a lot of people have been asking me, yo, how do I, like, do my yeah, face? Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of the stuff is happening. And also, I'm back doing my wellness thing. So with the whole sexual thing, Thing. I'm still uh, I found a school a yoga school oh, but yes. I'm just trying to make sure that it's you know proper 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 mm. uh, I'm trying to teach yoga and stretching and bring it into my wellness with fitness with Terry so wow. there's a whole lot it's just wellness and beauty and just lifestyle it's going to be beautiful and I'm looking at the time I mean like these whole things are happening in a very short space three weeks be like delighted three weeks three, three weeks like, that's even less than a month oh. and how are you adjusting to some of the activities like presenting skincare I'm going to be coming to that skincare because yeah. it's driving me but like uh, how are you adjusting to this new things now that are happening so it's 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 been difficult and yeah. it's been a lot yeah. but i thank god for all the people that are around me that give really good advice i've reached out to some of the industry heads that have actually sat down with me and given me advice on how to move what to do you know so it's not that i'm alone mm. yes it's a lot of work to adjust to but i'm not alone i can always reach out to someone and get advice i can always call someone and get advice so i'm i'm struggling yeah. in terms of all of it coming at one time yeah. but i'm adjusting in the sense of i'm actually getting used to all the high pressure environments because i can work in a high pressure environment right. so i'm just i'm actually liking at the pace that it's going at like i'm just letting god show off at this point i'm just gonna do the work wow yeah incredible, incredible. and would you say like maybe there are some persons that right now they're sort of guiding you i mean like this industry i think it's mm. very life you might be frightened at some point, but uh, would you maybe share with us if there are any people who have been in the industry who are sort of uh, holding your hand, showing you this is what to do, this is what not to do? They are. Um, I can't say they're holding my hand, but they're definitely giving me advice. Yeah. DJ Milkshake has had my back in nice. terms of hostings. Um, PH, DJ PH is also yeah. having my back in terms of gigs. You've got Urban Creatives. He's a photographer and also a promoter. Yeah. He's been plugging me into a lot of gigs. DJ Rico. There's quite a few. Uh, Lawrence Malika himself has been helping me wow. with the presenting thing. I've been able to reach out to him and his team and they've been giving me some solid advice on how to go about it also uh there's there's the rock star he's like brand manager at channel o like these are people i can reach out to and they can give me advice so i feel like i've got like some great people on my side that actually want to see me win so i'm, I'm just i'm just happy i'm just really happy that these people have my back and actually want to see me succeed most, I'm, I'm trying. talking three weeks uh, <laughs> at that time uh, so share with us in terms of uh, you know the industry there are people who are doing quite well you mentioned big names is there anyone specifically maybe that you are thinking in your mind that if i can reach the stage someone like this is the inspiration i'm looking to be going this way um does it have to be south african no anyone no for me i think it's very vast like yeah. There's a lot of them that I would like pick and be like, okay, yeah, this one for this, this one for this, this one for this. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot, you know, yeah. but all of them in their own right have the same thing, which is mindset. Oh, yes. For me, if your mindset is like super strong yeah. and I can like, okay, cool. You know what? I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Oh, because my mindset is strong. Yeah. I'm good. You've got your Bonangs, you've got your Rick Rosses, you've got your, okay. yeah, you've got your Rick Rosses, <laughs> you've got your Stormy Wellingtons, you've yeah. got all of these people that all of them in their own fields are doing amazing but all of them have one thing in common mm. mindset mindset yeah wow terry you know uh let's see if it's possible to take uh, some of the messages people have been uh, sending through and uh we're having uh skosana nomsansa uh nomsansa rather saying hey baba hey baba hey baba i love you, I love you. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, uh, Teddy, uh, before we sort of uh, wrap up the conversation, I'm looking at the time right now. Yeah. There's a little game that I want us to play. It's called Know Your Artist Better. So, okay. what happens here, we only have uh, 30 seconds. Mm. I'm going to ask you no difficult questions so that your followers can get to know Terry even deeper, deeper. deeper. Okay. Uh -huh. So, uh, your 20 seconds, uh, 30 seconds, and rather, is going to be starting now. And we're going to be saying, it's actually like straightforward person, so we prefer if you give straightforward answers. Okay. But correct. Okay, cool. Which one is your favorite, Devon or Cape Town? Uh, Devon. Okay, nice. Uh, which one do you prefer, OnlyFans or music? OnlyFans! Only <laughs> <laughs> and since we spoke about music, you uh, mentioned that you love hip hop. Alice or Nasty C? Wow, Nasty C. Nasty C, okay. Yeah. Ah, a bit more difficult, but you tell me, Mpo or Dimu or Sister Mara? Oh, wow! Uh, well. Both of them! <laughs> I'll let that slide. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not sure if you are following football, but uh, somebody no. asked me to ask you this question. Messi or Ronaldo? Just. I can say it. i for you, Cristiano yeah. Ronaldo. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's say you have one, two million runs. What is the one thing that you're going to be doing with that money? I'm buying my mama house. Wow. That wow. was already in jail. Wow, wow. She's the done. Done, done. Yeah, like. It's my girl. It's my girl. <laughs> Tell you, Treasure, uh, before we say goodbye to you, is it possible that people can find you on social media? Yes, they can find me on Instagram mm -hmm. at Life of Terry Treasure. Any other one is a catfish. Yeah. Or you've got Terry Treasure BBM. That's my fan page. And oh. they will direct you all the way up to my main page. That's it. I don't have any, I don't have a Twitter. I don't have a Facebook. Yeah. Um, on Facebook, it's basically a fan page. On Twitter, it's also a fan page. I don't have any personal accounts. Only mm. Instagram. Okay, beautiful stuff. Terry Treasure, lovely stuff. Looking beautiful. Yeah, thank, you, thank, you, thank, and, you, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wishing you all of the best. I mean, you have mentioned so many things in a very short space of time. Yes. We're hoping that they can keep on coming. I mean, yes. I mean, yes. So, yeah, man. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for creating time to come speak to us. Thank right you. Here, Thank you for having me. Lovely stuff from Big Brother Mzanzi, her name is a Terry Treasure. And of course, uh, there's some of the lovely music that, uh, you know, some uh, people have asked, uh, due to popular demand, people have asked that to play a Yazi. Yeah, a Yazi. Hey, yes. A Yazi. A Yazi. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful stuff. And I guess this is what you and I are going to have to say goodbye. You and I are going to be meeting the social media streets. Yes. Here. <laughs> okay. Well, Thank you so much for having me. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now I'm sure you saw that one there, and I'm sure you enjoyed every moment from that one. So put your comments or opinion. Be if you're seeing this video for the very first time, kindly hit the red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, comment opinions below. Thank you guys for staying by and see you on the next video. Bye bye.